In example one today, we're going to start using our teaching point. So we need to determine the number of total outcomes. And to do so, we're going to list all this, these outcomes or use a tree diagram. I'm going to use a tree diagram okay, to find the total outcomes today. Here we go. I'm going to be playing the game rocks, paper, scissors. I'm underlining the three possible op things that could occur. It's me versus another friend. I can throw down a rock where then my friend could then battle me with another rock or paper or scissors. Okay? So this is a tree diagram. Imagine this as a trunk, right? Here are the branches, and then at the end of it are the fruits or the leaves. So some people need a tree diagram to do this. And so after they see it, oh, okay, my possible outcomes are rock, 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 paper, or rock, scissors. Those are my outcomes. I'll illustrate one more time. The second thing I can do is instead of rock, I can throw paper. Booyah! Paper for ya! But then my friend could combat me with rock, paper, scissors. So then my combinations or outcomes are PR, PP, and PS. I love you. Of course, a third thing that could happen is me throwing scissors, okay? But I'm going to do this without listing. I'm just going to do it by, I'm not going to do it by tree. I'm going to do it just by listing. I can go paper, she, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can go scissors, and she can come back with rock. I can throw scissors, he can come back with paper. I can throw scissors, and that other dude could come back with scissors. I can skip this portion, the tree portion. But since many of you guys might want to do it just to be safe, here it is. Scissors could be matched with the rock, paper, scissors. Okay? All right. How many combinations or outcomes were there? One, two, three. Do you understand? This is what I was after to begin with. I was trying to see what were the possible outcomes of playing this game. <laughs> I have them all here. These are the nine things that could happen. Okay. Questions on what we did so far. This is an organizational trick. This is not necessarily math. This is you just being organized. And sometimes that's the, that's the thing that makes you successful or not successful in math. Just being able to have a system of keeping everything straight and ordered. Okay. So a tree diagram did it for me. Alrighty, I'm only halfway done with the question. Now I need to find the probability of a tie game. So here's what I was asked. What is the probability of it ending in a tie? A tie game is when you and the partner have the same sign out there. So where are they? It is when you have rock versus rock, paper versus paper, skizzers versus skizzers. <laughs> You're supposed to laugh. <laughs> Okay, so, <laughs> not fake, so, all right, <laughs> we, were looking, we were looking for ties, this was our desired outcome, <laughs> whereas nine on the bottom is our total amount of things that could happen in our game of rock, paper, scissors, three nights, in simplest form, it's one turd, okay? Changing this to a decimal is I memorized 0.33333333333 amen forever. And then to change it to a percent, 33.3%. So the chances of a game ending in a tie is one out of three times, 33%. So I'm going to highlight that just to summarize. Probability of a tie is boom, boom, or boom. 